Hey guys, welcome to Freeride Quebec, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bike check on my brand new bike. It's a YT Capra 2018 model. So I've been working on my build for the past six months. Um, I did change almost everything on that bike, so it's a 100% custom YT Capra. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. So, as you can see, this is a 2018 YT Capra. It's a size large. It's an uh, aluminum one. Uh, I wasn't sure I wanted to go with the carbon one. Um, they're doing good bikes, but I'm pretty rough on my stuff, so I don't want to break anything. So, size large. Um, the frame has been protected with um, plastic wrap, so just to be sure that I don't break anything right here. I have a little first dent here, so pretty cool. So, as for the build, first thing, brand new coil on that bike. So, I did change the Super Deluxe uh, Air Chuck for coil one. So, that bike saw for uh, 170 mils of travel. So, I did find a coil that was on, um, I think it was an intense M19, uh, M29. So, and I did change the coil to fit the color of the bike. So, can't wait to try that one. For the fork, I did change the 2018 Lyric for the 2019 one, so brand new damper on that fork. Um, I did a little log grape on here. I did put an uh, MRP ram control. So for those who are not familiar with it, it's um, basically a device that lets you set the bottom out of your fork. So instead of using token like one, two, three, four, or ten, or whatever, you can adjust the um, the last third of your travel with that to um, make it more plush or make it like more stable and um, more progressive. So that was a good little upgrade. It's set, same thing, I don't freaking care. So I did change um, the stem. I did put a new proof uh, 50 mil long stem instead of the 40 mil one. The large one is a bit small for me. I won't, I won't say too small, it's a bit tight. So what I did was just upgrade the cockpit to uh, give me a, a bit more room to be um, stable on the bike. So that's a good change. I did change the, the bar, so I went for carbon one, uh, rental fat bar. I do run it uh, at 790 mil instead of the 80, 800 mils. So just a bit shorter than the regular length. And it's a uh, 40 mil rise. So pretty good bar. I did put some ODI Iron Gwyn. Um, these are V2, very good grip, uh, pretty comfortable. And then when you when you just push on the material, it's uh, way more dense on the inside. So I do love those grip. For the brakes, I did upgrade uh, the SRAM Code RS for brand new Hope. Uh, these are the, um, if I remember, the E4 V3. So uh, pretty good brake, very strong, a lot of modulation. Uh, I did went for the 203 mils rotor, so eight inches. It's um, <laughs> it's so powerful, I mean, I'm like, I do weight like 150 pound, so there's so much power in that, it's, it's just too much, <laughs> to be honest. But great brakes, so same thing in the front, same thing at the back, I do love those brakes. Then, for the drivetrain, I did upgrade the Shimano SLX for SRAM Eagle. I just went like for GX, uh, it's all good for me. So GX cassette, GX derailleur, and GX uh, shifter. And I did put some grip on the shifter right here. That's a little trick I've got. So when it's wet, as you can see right here, I've got a lot of grip. Something I'm thinking about doing on my my brake lever as well, we'll see. So, good little upgrade. And for the chain, I went for the XO1 just for the color since I'm a little princess. So, that chain's amazing. Then, um, mm, 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 that's a crank, yeah, that's a crank. S sorry, it's still early in the morning. So, I went for the Atlas crank, uh, 170 mil, uh, very good crank, very strong. I did crash it uh, on a tree uh, last fall and it's all good. So, chain guide is stuck and the bottom bracket, um, the pressed bottom bracket is stuck, so I don't really care about those parts. So, change the crank. I did put some Atlas pedals right here. I love them, good pedal. And I did put some plastic protection here. It's something that you might consider since we pretty much often, like, 
um, like touching the ground or something we go through rocks and that can affect your crank and develop a slack in some in somewhere so that's a little plastic wrap that you can buy on Jensen USA or something so it's gonna protect your crank and maybe save save you a couple hundred bucks on that so pretty much love it so then the wheel set so I went for my first uh, carbon wheel set so this is basically a uh, stand new tubes uh, Bravo team so that's the, the high-end carbon wheel so Bravo team on the back Bravo Pro on the front so it's basically one model uh, below uh, I mean at some point the only difference was that the front hub was just a bit lighter like a couple of grams lighter and it was like 100 bucks more so it's not something that I really care about as for the front hub let's say still a very good one but as for the rear one um, the top hand hub uh, as more engagement point was a bit lighter and the whole mechanism was better so I went for the the high-end uh, wheel set on the rear so carbon rim I did have a quash core insert that I did yesterday night so if you want your Emmy to suffer and hate their life just over them to install a crush core and a wheel set um, it's fucking painful <laughs> it took me like two hours to install the first one and like 15 minutes for the second one so I think I just <laughs> I just learned how to do it um, my guess a lot of uh, what's that a soapy water yeah a lot of soapy water so push core insert on the inside um, as for the moment, I'm riding a Maxxis Aggressor in the back. Uh, first time I'm riding those tires, I can't tell you if they're any good or shitty, I don't know yet. Uh, usually I'm riding a Minion SS on the back, so it's a um, very fast rolling tire. I do love that tire, but still we're still like early early spring there's a lot of mud in here in Quebec so the, the semi-slick tire are no good <laughs> for those conditions so trying the, the aggressor in the back uh, at this point it's uh, it's a good tire um, let's say compared to the high roller 2 that's coming with the bike which is not the best tire let's say uh, I do love it we'll see on the on the long run how it goes but still a good tire but then when the, um, when everything's gonna dry up I'll just went for my Minion SS uh, 2.3 in the back which I love so aggressor for now at the front a little classic little um, Minion DHF oh fuck my rim oh no I just scratched the rim with my tire lever yesterday damn TV whatever so DHF on the front which is a 2.5 I think yep 2.5 a very good tire we'll see how it goes through the year i might have to change it uh, midsummer something like that i might go for a hasse guy which i heard is a great tire so same thing crush core on the inside at the front and then i think it's pretty much it oh drop a post i did change the tsr for a brand new fox transfer 175 the longer the better as she said so it's an amazing dropper post i do love it uh, assorted DT saddle and as for the lever right here a bit of wolf tooth amazing lever I love it you can adjust it in a different way so I love that lever I love that dropper post uh, the 175 uh, being a bit longer than their previous one which was 150 uh, great great add to that bike so guys I think it's pretty much it Did I forgot something little mod guard very important oh I forgot to tape my hose oh, I'll do it in a few moments so guys that's pretty much it for my brand new YT Capra um, pretty happy with that bike I know it's not a 29er but still I do love that bike it's gonna be a good um, downhill bike good enduro one I can jump the hell out of everything with it so <laughs> I'm pretty happy with my build I'm not poor as fuck but at least I can ride my bike so a huge thanks to everyone watching I hope you like uh, my build you can share with your friend and if you haven't subscribed just yet you can still do it so my name is JP and let's see you in the next video see you guys